Hi everyone, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. In this video, I'm gonna go over some best practices for setting up our Viewtron LPR camera system. It's really important to get the installation on LPR cameras right. It's not as simple as just uh, putting up a camera and pointing it and it works. There are some technical details that are important to consider with LPR setup. So first thing we're gonna talk about is the uh, physical installation of the camera. And then I'm gonna go over some important settings, both on the LPR camera itself as well as on the automated number plate recognition software on the Viewtron NVR that that's connected to. Let's get started. The first thing that I wanna mention when installing an LPR camera system is you always wanna pair an LPR camera with at least one overview camera. That's what those two cameras above are doing in this case. The reason is license plate recognition cameras are really only meant to capture plates, especially at night. Uh, at night, the view is completely black and you just see license plates going by. So it's not getting an overview. That's why we always recommend to pair an LPR camera with at least one overview camera. Second, the angle that you mount these at is extremely important. You'll notice how low down we have ours uh, mounted. Uh, that's 48 inches or four feet off the deck. Um, license plates, at least in the state of Florida, they cannot be mounted any higher than 60 inches. And I checked the majority of the vehicles uh, that are here in the parking lot, and most of those are between 24 and 34 inches. So we mounted ours 48 inches high so that there's barely any angle downward or upward uh, because it's, it's important for that angle to be as little or, or ideally no angle. Uh, so as little angles possible or none and side to side as well. So the, the angle that your camera comes out to the side uh, to monitor the lane of traffic is important as well. You want that to be no more than about 15 degrees uh, from left to right and from, from uh, top down or down up, depending on if your angle the camera up or down, you want that to be no less than 30 degrees and the less the better in both directions. If you start going more uh, from left to right and more from top to bottom, it just becomes more and more challenging for the LPR camera to successfully grab the numbers off of license plates. Another thing to consider when you're installing your LPR camera is the distance between where the camera is and where the license plates are crossing. So this camera has a seven to 22 millimeter lens. And I wanna show you the angle that we're capturing here at CCTV Camera Pros. So that's basically a single lane of traffic. So that's important as well. Uh, LPR cameras are basically meant to monitor one lane of traffic. And the detection zone that we have out there is 70 feet from where this camera is mounted. I have this, uh, the seven to 20 millimeter lens zoomed all the way in, and that's about as far as this camera is rated, up to about 70 feet or 21 meters. It may be able to go a little further than that, but I haven't tested. So I'm comfortable saying for now that this LPR camera is effective up to 70 feet, and that's what we're doing right here. The next thing I wanna talk about is the license plate recognition software setup on the NVR. So I'm gonna go into settings, and then into the LPR settings. And on this screen, this is where you set up your license plate uh, detection zone, as well as the size of the license plates. So if I click display range, and I'm gonna refer to a still screenshot here of when I set this up. So I parked my car actually within view where plates are gonna be coming through. And uh, the large rectangle is the detection zone, which I made quite large. Actually, it should be probably a little bit smaller than this in most cases, but this is working well, so I just went with it. The more important thing, and this took some tweaking, is making sure that minimum and maximum plate size uh, is good. So you, you basically want to set the minimum size slightly smaller than the plate that you put in view when you're setting up and the maximum size slightly larger. Uh, especially when you have a big detection zone like this, the plates will be slightly different sizes depending on how close or how far from the camera they are. The last thing I wanna go over are the software settings on the LPR camera itself. Most people won't need to modify these settings because we set this up before we ship these cameras out. But just in case you ever have to factory default these cameras or if the settings get changed somehow, I wanna show you where we have the settings for day and nighttime. 
Uh, this is done by accessing the camera through a web browser. We're gonna be logging directly into the IP camera itself. So let's take a look. Here's a screenshot of me logged into the IP camera. You can see up top in the address bar, I'm using the uh, local area network IP address to log in. And then I select image and display settings on the left to get to this screen. Uh, up top under config file, I'm gonna select day. We're gonna do separate day and nighttime settings. And uh, all of these settings are important, but there's some specific ones to note that you may need to tweak for your specific installation. The first one is uh, brightness. For the daytime setting, uh, we generally keep the brightness set to 25. And then uh, day night mode, this is when the camera switches over from day to night and night to day, vice versa. Um, we have this set to timing. So we, we set a specific time when it switches to daytime and when it switches back to uh, nighttime. Uh, you may be able to use auto here, but we've had better uh, experience with setting this to a specific time to switch over. Uh, the next setting that I want to cover is infrared mode. Uh, I was using auto when I was testing. Uh, James sets this to IR on always uh, during the day and the night. So we're going to do more testing there, but I have it working well on auto and James did some testing and has it well working on on. Um, shutter mode should be set to auto and then the max shutter speed should be 1 over 500 and the minimum should be 1 over 10,000. Next, gain mode is set to auto and the gain limit is set to 10. Next, let's take a look at the nighttime settings. You can switch to the nighttime settings by hitting this config file drop down and selecting night. The only setting for nighttime that's different from day is the brightness. We lowered the brightness level down from 10 to 3. All other settings stayed the same. I hope this video was useful in providing a guide and best practices for LPR camera installation. Uh, as you can see, there are some unique challenges with license plate recognition uh, camera installation uh, that's different from standard uh, surveillance cameras. But uh, with the right information and documentation, uh, DIY and professional installers can be very successful in doing these. Um, I'm gonna be posting some screenshots and additional information, and any, if anything changes over time, I'm gonna put all this into a uh, blog post. If you want to uh, access that post directly, you can go to www.cctvcamerapros.com slash LPR-setup. Thank you for watching.